honestly, when I looked at this question, like, I don't know, maybe I was just tired. I just didn't understand what was going on. Like, it's not a complicated diagram. It's not complicated at all, right? But if you're like, I don't, I'm just, I'm overwhelmed by the paragraph of what's important here, okay? So, let's begin. This is what we're required to prove, right? They give us, they give us a pair of parametric equations, right? But the pair of equations relates to this point P, okay? So what they want is x equals this and y equals this, okay? Now that's just another way of saying that the coordinates of this point up here are this and, whoops, sorry, wrong way around. And this, that's what it's asking for, okay? Now once you know that, the rest of it is quite accessible, okay? For instance, like the x value is already handed to you. Right? The x value of P, because it forms a rectangle up here, is the same as the x value of C. Right? So I would literally say, like forming my proof, I would say, um, as OCPB is a rectangle, right? Like I'm using that geometric property. Okay? Therefore, I could say that P shares the same x coordinate as C, right? So I would say, x of p equals x of c and so that's the actual value right x equals two i might i might leave that um that point there because i'm going to have a couple more flying around so that bit's easy okay now in exactly the same way how am i going to get this well where does it come from look at the diagram y. it comes from this now it's incredibly unhelpfully named okay so i'm going to rename it tough HSC question i'm going to call it y of b just so i'm not ambiguous okay now how is b Defined, right? Well, it starts down here, right? A line comes up, then it's perpendicular, okay? So that's my one, two steps, okay? Two steps. To get this line, I've got to start with this one. What's the gradient of AC? Gradient AC. AC. It's, um, it's rise over one, isn't it? So it's zero, take away negative K. Do you agree with that? Divided by t take away zero. There's the run. Okay. So I've got, <coughs> excuse me, k over t. But I don't want that line. I'm just using that line as a stepping stone to get to this line, right? What's the gradient? If this is the gradient of AC, what's the gradient of BC? Minus t on k. So I'm going to say since AC is perpendicular to BC, I'm just taking the negative reciprocal. Um, that gradient is minus t over k, which of course is very promising. Okay. All right, I'm almost there. Now what do I do with this gradient? Where, where am I going to use it? I know that it has this gradient, the line I'm interested in, and it passes through that point right there. You see that point? Okay. So I will say, therefore, the equation of line bc, that's what I'm after, right? That one there. Okay. I'm just going to use point gradient form, because I know it's gradient, and I know a point that it goes through. <coughs> So the point is t0, so I'll go y minus y1, there's y1, equals m, that's the gradient I just determined, outside of x minus x1. That's the x coordinate I go through. You see that? And you can see where my t squared on k comes from. y equals minus t on k x plus, because there's a double negative, t squared on k. But then I just have to say, but... Uh, B is the y-intercept of this line. The y-intercept of this line, right? B is the y-intercept of BC, right? I already know what its x-coordinate is because it's a, a y-intercept, but now I know what its y-coordinate is, right? So therefore, y of B equals t squared on k. I simply read that from there. And so therefore, y of P also equals t squared on k for the same reason that I had up here, because it's a rectangle, okay?